vertical and horizontal shifts of graphs. So as we begin our discussion of uh, changing the graphs, transformations, we're going to start with vertical and horizontal shifts. Our objective, use vertical and horizontal shifts to graph functions. And we're going to use some of our common functions and their parent graphs to do this. So graphs of functions can be moved vertically, up or down, or horizontally, right or left, by making specific changes to the function's equation. Okay, if we want to do a vertical shift, we either add or subtract a constant to or from the function. Okay, so if f is the function and c is a constant, if we add to the function, in other words, kind of add to the back of it, the graph of the function will shift up c units. If we subtract from the function, and again, kind of the last, you know, back at the, we end, we take a function at the very end, we add a minus whatever, then we're going to take that graph and we're going to shift it down c units. So let's pretend that, let's take our common function, uh, f of x is equal to, how about the absolute value of x? Okay, so we know what that looks like. All right, absolute value parent function essentially looks like this. That's the absolute value parent function. And so here is f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. So if we add a constant onto that function at the end, we will shift it up. Okay, so I'll name a new function, the g of x function. And here's the function, now we're gonna add two. Okay, well adding to the back of the function at the end shifts it up. So it'll shift it up two. And it will essentially be there. And here is my g of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus two. And if we subtract from the back of the function, h of x equals, for example, the absolute value of x minus 4. Well, we're going to drop it down 4. So I need to go a little bit further. But here is the same, here's the same function, and this has been shifted vertically down. So here's the h of x function, the absolute value minus 4. Let's take a look at this on our graphing calculator. So I'll go into here and hope that we can see my screen without too much glare. I think I'm good about there. Okay, and I'm gonna go and go to my y equals, and I'm gonna put in the absolute value function. I'm trying to remember, I think my absolute value is, a, well, I know that it's in my catalog as the first thing in my catalog. So there's the absolute value, and the absolute value of x, Okay, I'll come out of the absolute value symbols and I'll graph that. And there's the absolute value function. Let's go back and let's do the same thing. So I'll go to my absolute value function x and on the back at the end of it, I'll add two. And then I'll graph the same absolute value function, uh, for absolute value of x, the parent function, and I will m subtract four and the, the blue is the parent function on my calculator. The red will come out as the g function added two. It'll go vertically up two. And the black graph will be the function vertically shifted down by four. There's that one. There's the one shifted up by two. And there's the one shifted down by four. So vertical shifts are probably the easiest shifts to think about. You're just adding or subtracting to the back. Okay, horizontal shifts. Horizontal shifts take place uh, where you're adding or subtracting from the input value, okay? So inside of the function, so to speak. Add or subtract a constant to or from the input value or values that there's more than one. Okay, f is a function, c is a constant, the graph of plus c, f of x plus c, again, now we've added inside the function, is the graph of f of x shifted to the left c units. It sounds counterintuitive. If we add inside, we go left. 
the graph of f of x minus c is the graph shifted right c units. Okay, so let's take a look again. We'll call f of x. This time we'll work with our common function x squared. Okay, now uh, let's shift it to the left three units. So our g function, before we do the squaring, there's the function square. We're gonna we're gonna add three to shift it to. Excuse me. We're gonna add left. We're gonna subtract three. I got myself confused. No, we're gonna add three. I had that right. Okay. We're gonna go left three by adding. Okay. X plus three shifts it left. Sorry about my uh, misspeaking there. And our h of x function, we're gonna shift it to the right horizontal right shift. And we do that by subtracting, and we'll subtract 5 to shift it right 5. So let's take a look at what this means, and we'll take a look at it on the calculator. So here is my base x squared function right here. So this is f of x. Okay, that's the f of x parent function. Let's go to the left 3. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. And so I will draw it like this. And again, we're just sketching. We're not going to be too particular about how great this looks. That looks okay. This is my g of x function. If I want to shift it to the right, I need to make subtract 5 before I square. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so... Here is, okay, so this one is the h of x function right here. Okay, so we start with the parent function, which we know the, we know the, uh, the graph of. If I want to horizontally shift it left, I, subtract, I add 3 before squaring. If I want to horizontally shift it right, I subtract 5 before squaring. Let's take a look. Okay, and I'll do this one all at one time. Let's clear these three out. So I know my parent function is x squared. Okay, now before I square it, I am going to uh, add three. So x plus three, this will result in a left shift. And then for my third graph, before I square it, I'm going to subtract five, and that'll shift it to the right, and then I'll, I'll square it. Whoops, I meant that to be a square. There we go. So here's the parent function. There's the x squared. The red will show the one shifted to the left three, and the black will show the one shifted to the right five. So there's your horizontal shift. Okay, let's take a look at one more piece of this. Let's actually kind of use that graph we just did, and let's do two things to it. Let's, let's do the... Uh, horizontal shift and the vertical shift. Okay, in general, so I'm giving, I'm giving you, I want to start with the graph x squared, and then I want to use what we know to come up with the graph of h of x, which is x plus 1 squared minus 3. Okay, so we're tacking something onto the back, which means we're going to have a vertical shift, in this case down, and then we're Tacking, we're doing something to the input before we do the function, which means we're going to have a horizontal shift, in this case, to the left. In general, okay, and then general, when you want to do this on paper, you should do horizontal shifts. It's just a little bit easier. Always do horizontal shifts first. And because the vertical shifts are fairly straightforward, always do vertical shifts last. Okay, so let's start out. X squared. Here is the graph of X squared. Okay, F of X equals X squared. So we want to do the uh, do the horizontal shift. So this is a plus one. So we're going to go left to the one left <laughs> left left one unit. So okay. So here we go. 
We're gonna go left one, I'll put the, uh, the one right there. And then I will draw this. And it's not the prettiest drawing, but you get the idea. And this is f of x plus one squared. We did one piece, we shifted it left one unit. And then finally, let's, let's now do the vertical piece and go down three. So we're gonna go back to here. We know we're over at negative one, but now we're gonna go down three and put the vertex. Whoops, you can't see that. Let's go back to here, sorry about that. So we, we know we're over one here and here. Now we're gonna go down three, the vertical shift down, put my vertex down here, and then simply draw the graph of my quadratic here. And this is h of x, which is f of x, all this other stuff. This is h of x of x plus one squared minus three. Okay, so in general, do your horizontal shift first and do your vertical shift last. Okay, uh, let's take a quick look at this one. And we'll put in here, let's clear this. We know that the base, the parent graph is x squared. So there's my parent, whoops, clear, I gotta clear these out, sorry about that. Okay, x squared. And then we wanna do uh, x plus one squared. Again, that we were, before we're squaring, we're adding one, so there's the horizontal shift. And at the very end, we're gonna tack on a negative three, that's a vertical shift. And we'll press graph. And there's the first one. And now we're gonna be left one and down three. And there you have it. Left one, down three to the vertex here. And then, the, then you draw the curve you're looking for.